All right, it's about one o'clock. After doing that cardio, man, I, I went and had a shower and I honestly felt like just going back to bed. So that's exactly what I did. Um, and then I realized, oh, well, actually, I didn't have any caffeine, did I? So before I go to the gym, obviously, I'm going to have my first dose of caffeine for the day. A bit later in the day than normal, which is actually a good thing, of course. Um, and we're going with gold standard pre-workout. I am so sick of this. The pineapple flavor is not strong enough for my liking. And we're going to mix that with one scoop of BCA's apple flavored as per. Um, about half an hour ago, I had my first meal of the day, which was wheat bix I actually forgot that I had this in the cupboard. And um, I saw it there and I thought, fuck it, I'll have some wheat bix So I had four, four wheat bix which is about 250 calories. Uh, it's going to give me about 50 grams of carbs and like 10 grams of protein. Um, as far as other protein, today I've had one scoop of protein powder after I did the cardio um, and that's about it. So all, all up today I've probably had 30 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs and like 10 grams of fat. Um, so we're just about to make up a pre-workout. Oh, stay there mate. Pre-workout. As you guys know, I love my pre-workout with ice in it. it. Stays nice and cold for the whole workout. Well, not the whole workout, but um, for the first half an hour or so. Oh, and remember, remember when I told you guys that my fridge would be. Well, my freezer would be stopped. Well, there you go. So that is 18 core nutrition meals, some bread, some veggies, some mixed berries, fish, chicken breast, more bread, and I am stocked up, that's for sure. So that's good. I'm going to get this pre-workout on, um, then head off to the gym. So fucking funny. I just messaged my mate Dom, the one that has said no to doing legs the last two days. And I wasn't even meant to be training legs today, but I felt like having him on. And I said, yeah, all right. He said he wanted to train. I said, yep, legs. And then fucking straight away comes up with some bullshit excuse. I'm like, oh my God, what a faggot. So I still haven't told him I was actually joking. But I think he's going to the gym anyway to train some chest. So I'll see him there. I trained chest yesterday, so obviously can't do that today. I'm going to do a back workout uh, with no deadlifts and no rack pulls. So we're just going with rows and pull downs. Um, and then after that, I'm going to do some side and rear delts. I'm not going to do any front delt or any pressing movements because I hit chest yesterday. And, um, you know, you don't need to smash them that much. Um, but yeah, side delts are something I can always sort of knock out, always add on to an end of a workout if I have to, and that's what I want to do today. So we'll end with that. We'll start with back, do rear delts, and then side delts. That sounds good. Always, always love doing side delts. Ever since I've started training, it's, it's, it's been obvious to me what exercise you have to do to make your shoulders wider, right? Side delts. And ever since I started training shoulders, man, every, every single shoulder workout, I've always smashed side delts. Like, especially in the last three years, you know, there's always drop sets, supersets, anything to get the pump and to just, you know, keep repping it out. So that's definitely one movement um, I enjoy and it's, it's worked for me, you know, like, but my delts are pretty wide and that's because of side delts. So, you know. Don't be scared to do a lot of side delt work. I mean, honestly guys, pressing movements I think are overrated. I never feel the tension as well as I do with a front raise or a side raise in a pressing movement. I just never do. It's like, I don't know, it just puts a lot of pressure on my elbows and yeah. 
I need like uh, maybe on a Smith machine, but not on dumbbells. Dumbbells is just it's too unsteady, especially when I go heavy. On a Smith machine, yeah, it's okay. But then even then, like that that movement of, of pressing up like that. It just doesn't feel right for me, to be honest. I'd much rather do a raise to hit the front delt than a press. But hey, that's just me. I do do pressing movements, but I won't be doing them today. So, anyways. Pre-workout, BCAs. I'm going to chuck some shoes on and then head to the gym and take some footage today. Um, it, it's a Sunday. Most people are hungover, right? Well, most people in Alice Springs are fucking hungover. So hopefully there won't be too many people there and we can get a good workout and get some footage. So, see you there. I said you're standing.
Back session and rear delts. I actually saw Dom in there, he's the one who did the footage for me. And <laughs> I actually went in there in a bit of a bad mood, eh, to be honest. Like I was I was giving him shit, but I was being like nasty about it. And I was like, well, why am I being like that? So I ended up saying, stop training chest, bro, come and train some back with me. So that's what we did. Uh, we started off with the seated, seated uh, cable row with the close grip attachment and then went over to the lat pull down with the conventional bar and then we went to a Smith Machine bent over row. Uh, I used both the overhand and underhand grip but as I mentioned in a previous video, underhand feels really really good for me at the moment. It allows me to like get, get everything real tense and like nice, nice and tight and just focus on the squeeze and pulling through the elbows. So I do recommend to everyone underhand grip if you don't use it at least try it and see how it feels for you. Fuck, it's hot in here. <laughs> um, after that, I was gonna call it a day, but then we were like, oh no, I'll do rear delts. Um, so we went over to the pack deck machine, did some reverse flies, and then finished off with some bent over dumbbell rear delt flies, which are a great exercise, but they're tough, and not everyone does them. But one tip I will give you on for rear delt flies is um, if, you know, standing there bent over, trying to keep the tension on your rear delt, if everything is, if it's just too much and you don't, you don't enjoy the exercise or you don't feel it very well because um, you're focusing on, you know, keeping your back straight and things like that, then either do it the really pussy way and lie down, uh, stomach down on an inclined bench and, you know, support yourself that way or get off the bench, come around the other side and actually place your the front of your head on the top of the incline bench and then you know get your get your stick your ass out, get your back in a in a good position and you won't have to focus on staying upright because your head is is placed on the thing. So you can really focus on your rear delt more. Um, so if I'm you know if I'm really struggling, if I'm feeling weak, I will use that technique, putting my head on the front of an incline bench and it feels really good. So you just have to adjust obviously the incline height um, as to how tall you are, but you wanna get something so your back is probably on this angle. Your head's here, your back will probably be about like that. I mean, if you really want to, you can, you can fucking have your back like that and do like pendlay sort of an action, but that is quite hard, I must admit. So especially after doing back. I don't always include rear delts in my back workouts, but today we did. Felt good. It's obviously a similar movement. You do use your rear delts when you train back, there's no doubt about it. So, you know, today I just pumped the shit out of them at the end. So, feels good. Got night shift tonight. Um, be going home soon and making up some meal prep for the night and for tomorrow. And then Tuesday, we're going to New Zealand, which I can't wait for, obviously and it'll be good times ahead for two weeks. Two weeks off work, two weeks to relax, to recharge, continue dieting obviously, and um, keeping on going to Jake version 3.0. All right, so I've just had the great idea, or at least I think it's great, to head up Mount Gillen tonight, just to make the, the most of my day really hit some good cardio and I'm gonna see if my sister wants to come. Hello. Hey mate, what's going on? Oh you know not much. Got home from shopping. How's the gym? Yeah it was good. It's really good. Nice. There's some quads and some hammies. Quads and hammies. Well you keen to go up Mount Gillen? Really? Yeah. You can just push yourself really hard today and just hammer them and then recover over the next few days. Yeah, well, what time do you think you're going? What, so you do want to go? <laughs> I'm asking what time you think you're going. Well, as early as possible, really. Are you ready now? Um, no, nah, well, I'm not ready now, but I, you know, I want to get back before it gets too dark, you know what I mean? Are you at work? No. Nah. 
So we can go any time, basically. You want to go the full way? I don't know, man. I just, I just want to. Smash out a workout. Just want to get get some good cardio in, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, so oh, sweet. You want time, like in an hour -ish? Yeah, something like that. Alright, cool. I might lag a bit behind you for that as well. No, that's all good. Sweet. Yeah, sweet. Well, I'll, I'll come and pick you up. Yeah, cool. Alright, done. Okay, I'll see you soon. Sweet. See ya. Bye. Bye. Mean. There you go. She, see, she's got the gym buzz, man. I told her, why don't you just fucking bite the bullet and hammer them? Hammer your legs today, and then recover, because that's what you can do. You, and and you know you've you've got all that work under the belt, and the next few days are fantastic. There's nothing. There is no better feeling than having than walking around on sore legs. There really isn't. Like how good of a feeling is that? You know you've put in that work, and now you're just recovering. I mean you can't do anything else until your legs come right, and then you can just go and do it again. So. That is an amazing feeling. Anyway, that's how she's going to be feeling tonight. So that is good. I will be hitting another six, seven hundred calories worth of cardio. And I don't know. I'm just really positive, actually. I'm just in a good mood. So not every day do I feel like fucking ringing up my sister and saying, do you want to hike up a mountain? That's for sure. But today, because I've got night shift tonight, I've got tomorrow off, I'm going to New Zealand soon, I'm getting in good shape. I've got a sister who loves the gym lifestyle now. Everything's everything's good. So we're gonna be heading up the mountain. Should be fun. Alright guys, the post-workout meal is as follows. It's uh, one of these core power foods meals. It's one of my favorites, double under. Um, the whole thing is literally 280 calories and it tastes awesome. Lean kangaroo sausages red wine dew, caramelized onion, and sweet potato mash. Now, I'll give you guys a look. I haven't touched it at all. That's just what it came out like. Now, it might seem, you know, not that interesting, but honestly, when you're dieting and when you're hungry, it's fucking delicious. And, you know, to stick to, yeah, 18 grams of carb, 45 grams of protein, and two grams of fat, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, um, yeah, so works for me. I'm gonna put a little bit of peanut butter on there as well, um, just to sort of create a satay sort of flavor. I love everything satay. Um, it's probably my favorite flavor of food, to be honest, peanutty. So I'll put a bit of peanut butter on there, just a little bit of added um, healthy fats. And after this, I'll be going and doing that cardio. So this will tie me over quite nicely. I'm sure I'll still be hungry after it because it's only 300 calories, but it's what you got to deal with when you're dieting. And um, I'll be coming back, making up some meal prep before I go to work. And I'll show you guys uh, when I do that. But in the meantime, I'm going to monster this, then go and meet my sister. of the ranges and then it's probably about another half an hour up to the top and then all the way back down so it should be good I'll see you guys at the top